see if this works. Should be good. Hello everyone, how are we doing? Uh, welcome to a lovely uh, Friday Terra Tech World stream. It's me, Dean. Oh wait, there. Let me move my uh, camera. As you can see, we are not. Um, we are not live. Hey, Mia. Good to see you. Um, as you can see, we are not live from Payload Studios this week, as it is a bank holiday Friday. Hey, Alessandro. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so uh, you know, the team politely asked. Hey, Cat. Good to see you. Hey, uh, uh, is that Vine? Wait, there, there's something on my screen right in front of that letter. Is it an O? Is it an E? It's, it's neither. It's a C. Uh, Vink, good to see you. Hey, Frozen North, good to see you. Yeah, we are not live from Payload Studios this week. I was very, I was very politely asked from the team, you know, to, uh, you know, hang out with you a little bit. Because it's still, you know, it's still the first week of early access. I think, I think it'd be weird to not do our Friday stream. So, I, uh, I you know, obviously, I agreed. But uh, yeah, this is this is my place. I mean, you you would you'd be sort of aware of this because of uh, this is the this is where I film the videos uh, that go out weekly on the YouTube channel. By the way, a new one. Uh, I mean, if you've been playing the game, you're you're obviously aware that we've uh, recently pushed a new update. Address a lot of like sort of balancing um, problems um, that a lot of you had um, in the initial feedback and stuff like that. So you you're probably aware. Space. Um, that's uh. Is a Poe Dameron Star Wars sequel trilogy. I've had that cardboard cut out. There's more of him. He's, he's taller than that. I've had that for almost 10 years. <laughs> It'll be 10 years next year. But yes. How is everybody? Anyway, does everything sound okay? Can you hear the music? Um, will Terror Top Worlds be on Xbox? So, Cat God, great username, by the way. Um, so in, in terms of console stuff, uh, we don't have any concrete plans just yet. I'm sorry that you probably you probably want something a bit more sort of yes or no about it. But unfortunately, uh, just not in a position to really confirm anything on that front. So um, uh, could we give you some feedback on it? Yeah, you absolutely can if you want. Um, what is it? Uh, we, we'll use uh, these. Uh, we use these chats anyway uh, uh, as sort of a ref. We log we log these things anyway. Sorry. We log these chats um, as a way to, you know, keep on top. You know, you, someone might post something here that they might not post on Steam, you know. Uh, and who knows, maybe someone's feedback might be the, uh, um, the, uh, the, 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 I don't know, the magic idea that everyone goes, oh, yeah, okay. So, yes, go ahead, go ahead. I might, as I'm not a dev, um, an actual game dev, um, I, I don't know if I can offer any sort of a, any super specific or technical um, responses to it, but by all means, throw your thoughts into the chat. Um, they won't be lost to the ether. Um, the devs will get to see. So yeah, basically, that was an incredibly long winded yes. <laughs> Sounds bad. Thanks, Kat. How are you, Kat? How's uh, how are things uh, how are things going on this lovely Friday? Are you in the uh, are you in the UK? Play Terror Tech World right now. Um, I hate it. It's the worst game. I'm joking. Um, I'm playing Terra well right now. Love it and thank you uh, all. Look, I'm sorry to see some review bomb. Oh, I don't think it's um, I don't think it's like review bombing necessarily. You know, there was a lot of differences between the demo and this release, uh, and you know uh, that sort of early grind. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Obviously, thank you. Um, but I think there was obviously some understandable frustrations. Um, so no, I. I think at the end of the day, I don't think there was any ill intent. I think it's just uh, they were understandably frustrated by it. And also there's been some, you know, um, we pushed another hot fix for technical um, issues. I can understand, but if you, if you take the the leap to invest in what the studio is putting out there, I can understand, you know? Uh, so yeah, thank you though, obviously, but we, we're not we're not taking it we're not taking it hardly. We we, we do understand. That's what I mean. That's why we're addressing it to begin with. Like, if we didn't agree, we'd be like, "No, we ain't gonna fix anything." But no, we get it. Taking it on the chin. <laughs> and a lot of you seem really happy with some of the um, uh, with some of the changes that have been pushed out. No, not yesterday. Wednesday. It was that on Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> Hey Bert, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. The feedback I would give you is about um, experience user interface uh, because I feel the absence 
tool tips and support info about the block somehow um sometimes it's not clear what is the purpose of block absolutely agree with you so we had um our one of our design directors uh say one of no more than one i'm not sure either way we had a, a design director chris join us uh, on wednesday and um they were talking about the blockpedia um where uh, and how we were saying we need to get uh, you have different information in there and make it a really dense almost sort of like an in-game uh wiki it needs to be more like that so absolutely agree are you aware of the glowing man behind this this old chap here um yes i am very much aware of freeze cactus that is a uh, that is Poe Damron, played by Oscar Isaac, uh, everyone's favourite character from everyone's favourite Star Wars trilogy. I've I've owned it for almost ten years. I will, I guess, I guess that uh, I've moved all around London, and that thing it has followed me to every single one of them, <laughs> and I do not intend to get rid of him any uh, any time soon. But yeah, anyway, uh, Matthias Butler. I hope I said that right. Good to see you. I was wondering who was sitting in the background in your update videos. Now I see who I was seeing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice plus shark. Oh, cheers, cheers. And the two, uh, two Kirby cushions. There's a Kirby there. That's not a cushion. That's a plushie. But... And then the Maxim tomato. Yeah. There's more nerd stuff. Look, look. If I do another stream from home thing, I can show you all the all the nerdy rubbish I've got. <laughs> um, but yeah. I was going through my uh we need to start i just you've got me nattering you've got me nattering we're supposed to be playing a video game <laughs> is it the official um i don't know how to say that from ikea uh yes it is from ikea yeah can't find the small ones yeah i got this uh my partner got it me for christmas uh, i'm a big shark person so um just ignore the gamer juice hey millie good to see you good to have you right I'm going to shut up. Do you want me to play a video game? I assume you would like me to. Yeah? Alright, let's see if this works. Um, right, here we go. Mango Loco is best monster. Uh, 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 yeah, obviously. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. No worries, man. Like I say, we're, we're, all we want to do is make the best game possible. And uh, I think we're getting there. <laughs> Bye, I have to go. No worries. No worries. Thanks for checking in and joining us. I appreciate it. Right. This is like the second time I've booted this game on computer. And it was fine. Hey. All right. Cool. Right. So I'm just going to give you a bit of context. So some whatever reason, maybe it was one of the updates. Um, oh, no. It was, no. Different build of the game. My, um, <laughs> my, uh, my save is not here anymore. So... Oh, my graphics on. Um, so we're starting fresh again. And uh, so I've picked that spot between, you see that tree there? That's one of the swamp uh, sort of trees. And there's the Arctic. So I picked this spot. Because what I want to do, we've not really spent any time in the swamps, at least I don't think. But I'd like to try and, um, I'd like to try and go in. What colour do you think? <laughs> ah! Oh my word. Okay, right. Go for the tech yards there. Right, okay. Now I'm going to read this question again. What colour do you think Dr. Mario's underwear is? I think it's like a... I don't, I don't think it's a colour. I think he's got transparent ones. You know, just a, a thin layer of plastic. Oh. Okay, there's mine. Right. So. Platforms. You've never seen me do this before. Let's go for, like, okay. excellent time. It was. If you're on Twitch, clip that. I'm sure we could, uh, sure we could use it. Alright. Build a bit of a base. Get some cooking. You uh I assume you can hear the game okay? That that actual in-game sound looks very loud to me. Um Got a heart attack when I first 
Yeah, they are uh, the ones in the Arctic. I don't know if that's a, a sort of a bit of a spoiler, but ones in the Arctic got me. I don't believe they were even in the Arctic when I first spotted them. I don't know if they're still there, but they used to be in, like in the starting area. Oh, can I not put that down? Like a hill in the way. Ah. Fine. Now some ramps, mate. Some ramps. This. Right. Ready, mate, too. Oh, that's fine. We don't need that. You over here. Hi from Russia with love. Hi! How are you doing? Thanks for spending some time with us. Who knows if you can answer this. Um, are there plans to let players apply colour? Huh. Well, um, I can't answer it because we've never been asked that question before. Um, obviously, we have the ability to change... Um, is it the livery or the livery? I'm going to say livery because it doesn't sound like livery. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean... Yeah, we've never been asked that question before, but it could be something we can bring up with the, with the devs. Um, on Wednesday, we have one, um, uh, Design Director Chris joining us. So, probably, um, we ask him about that. Every so often, the mic cuts off for like one second. Hmm, okay, give me a sec. Sorry, I've not got my, um, oh, I think I know what it is. Give me a sec. Sorry about that. What about now? Is that a bit better? I think the noise gate isn't set properly, so I think it's like cutting off certain things. That might be a little bit better. Do you think this game is better than the original Terra Tech? I wouldn't know. Because I have not played it. <laughs> Not because I don't want to. I just don't have time. I got this job and this game has been my life. <laughs> I keep saying to Matt though. I keep saying I need to join him for a stream and he can like show me the game. And like Matt hasn't played a lot of Terra Tech Worlds either. So I think we can do a bit of a, you know, a little fun uh, exchange. Um, uh, good morning, solo player. Hello, um, Ekaterina. Is that it? If I said it, if I said it wrong, I'm very sorry. But thanks for joining the stream. They're different games, really. Different goals, different playstyles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Seems to be okay. All right, sweet cat. Thank you. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, look at the lighting here. Very moody. And the game seems to be running okay as well, doesn't it? All right. Yeah, I don't know what the devs did, but uh, yesterday was it yesterday? Or was it the other day? Face my PC was not having me play this game and run OBS at the same time. And then today it's been absolutely fine. So I don't know. I haven't played it since the uh, the fix. So whatever you did, guys, you've you helped me out. <laughs> In the worlds we can now craft ships. No, actually, no, you cannot. Um, you cannot craft ships or boats yet. They are part of our roadmap, though. Uh, they are coming at some point. And uh, I'm with you on it. I'm very excited, especially for boats. As like a Zelda Wind Waker fan, I've always been... Um, I've always been a, um, sort of a big, uh, you know, sailing fan in games. When it's a Terra Tech update. Uh, unfortunately, I can't say anything about Terra Tech. Uh, I am purely Terra Tech Worlds adjacent. I am. I'm, that's, that's basically been my whole life since October. <laughs> so unfortunately, yes. I've been missing all the streams for a while. This is the first one I've seen in a while. Solo play. Hopefully, you like it. <laughs> uh, what else do I need? Do I need more ramps or are these two fine? I mean, they're fine. Right, let's do a lot of our sort of early game stuff. We need carbon generator and we need a workbench. There you go. It's not my first rodeo, put it that way. Whoa, hang on. Oh, we do have. We've got loads of ramps. Where did we get all these? Okay. Maybe I just must, I must have, like, overdone it. All right, well... Power generator. Can you go there? Hey, there we go. And a workbench here, please. Gorgeous. Ooh, look at that. Seems weird to have boats on a road map. 
Uh, here we go. Carbon generator. Oh, hang on. No, turn off. Alright, a bit dramatic. But, let's see. So what we definitely need... So I need more... I need more space. That's what... That's basically what I need. I need more space to make platforms. So, these are rhubarb-looking trees. These are mine, as far as I'm concerned. When will Worlds come out exactly? And if so, will it be on Xbox or any other console? So... Once again, I, I can't, I cannot say anything about console releases. It's obviously something they're thinking about, um, but can't say anything concrete right now. Oh, that was quick. Um, but um, and in terms of an actual release date, who knows? I mean, we're just we're just getting started, so who knows? And like I say, in terms of the roadmap, we've got like a ton of stuff. One thing I'm really looking forward to is. Uh, I think it's at the very end of the roadmap, so it doesn't have a specific sort of time frame. Obviously, the things can change in terms of time. Um, but uh, it says creatures, and I'm like, I'm into that. I want to see some little freaks, you know what I mean? Some little aliens. Hey, Grey Arkin, how you doing? Sorry if you've talked to... Uh... uh Sorry if you talked about this already. I just got here. Can you talk about the reasoning behind limited storage in this game versus Territate? It feels limiting in a few ways. So, I, once again, I, uh, well, not once again. I can't say specifically um, why they went over it. Purely, I mean, it's a, it's a survival game. And so, you know, with survival, there has to be limitations inherently. Um, I would believe that's sort of part of it. What is that? Oh, they're tech pieces. I need to zoom in a bit more. Sorry about that. Um, I know that's not a fantastic answer to your question. Um, if you do want to ask, like, sort of more, like, uh, if you do want to uh, ask more questions there uh, next week, uh, Chris will be joining us. Uh, he's a design director, so he'll, he'll have tons of stuff. Also, I believe a uh, stream from Wednesday is uh, still on YouTube, so if you want to watch that, it's about about just about an hour. Um, Chris, um, you know, uh, shares a ton of information that is, like, quite frankly, quite quite cool. <laughs> No worries, Gray. Thank you for asking. Thanks for joining us. Um, if you ever need someone to go through the first 15 to 20 minutes of Terror Attack Worlds, just ask Dean. I think I've seen you go through the most tens of times already. Don't, Haxie. I genuinely do not know. I can't remember what my life was like before the first 10 minutes of Terror Attack Worlds. Um, I hope, I hope that, hang on. Give me a second. Should you be here? Uh, you probably clocked it, but just give me a sec. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great uh, little tip for anyone who doesn't know. Um, press. So if you want to put all these pieces, all these tech pieces in your tech yard, pretty much immediately, press Alt, and they all go in there automatically. I don't know if it says that on the screen. It, it doesn't. But little tip for you. It very fast, very helpful. <laughs> uh, right, should you? It, am I looking? Is that right? Yeah. See these guys over here? Yeah. I bought the game. I've been messing with it. Thank you, Gray. Thanks for giving us a uh, giving us the time. Um. It would look kind of weird if the wheels had the same color as the rest of the tech. It would be cool if uh, wheels had their own color options at some point. I agree. Yeah, honestly, I mean, ultimately, my whole thing is like, I'm one of the, I love customization in techs anyway. Not techs, sorry, in games, sorry. Um, speaking of, actually, um, if you stick around for, I mean, you've probably seen it already. There are um, Twitch uh, drops that we're doing this week. I can't actually remember which, which one is it. Is it the Viking helmet for this week? If you stick around on this on the Twitch on the Twitch platform for an hour, you'll unlock a um, you'll unlock a Twitch drop, and I believe it's the Viking hat. I think. No, or is it the Sheriff badge? Sheriff badge. All right, there you go. See, someone could do my do my job. <laughs> hey, live action pixel, going very well. How about you, man? Whoa! All right. Getting iron is so much faster now. Recent changes are really great. Thank you. No worries. No worries. Thank you. Um, I was literally just experiencing one of them now. Like, iron is so much faster now. Which, yes, please. Gimme. 
Need to make some silos, actually. Nice. Uh, oh, is that in three pieces? Wow, all right. There we go. One thing I want them to push is uh, not talk about my own personal change. Uh, hey, Lily. I was so confused because you weren't on your channel. Yeah, sorry, what have I missed? No, no, I'm just on... Um, yeah, I'm just over on uh, the Terratech Worlds thing. Because uh, this is this is what I do for a living now. Can I buy Terratech Worlds on my Nintendo? Kiki, you cannot yet, no. You can buy the original Terratech on, on Nintendo Switch. Hello, here to see the game. Hey, Kez, how you doing? Woohoo, critical fire, good to see you. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Yeah, one thing I would really like is... Uh, whoa, wait there. One thing I'd really like is not to go run straight into these plants. For anyone who doesn't know, we should probably try and get rid of these guys. Because I am going to run into them eventually. Um, right. So, one thing I would really, really like is when you get resources. Because one thing... And this, this is just me just offering my own feedback. Um... One thing I would really like is... So, right here, right? I don't know necessarily... Oh, that's nine. Okay, so when you go over it, you can say how much it is, right? Just in case I don't see that, though. I'd like some sort of indicator. Maybe on top of... You know the UI on the left? To say how much, like, aluminium... How much of a resource I've just got. Because I don't want to go in the menu to see that. Do you know what I mean? Especially if you're purely on, like, a... You know... It's time to get resources sort of thing. I would really like an indicator of how much stuff I've got without going in the menu. Does that make sense? Um, that's what I would like anyway. Pro thing is, probably already being done. <laughs> also because I, you know, I'm a, mi I'm a, um, uh, what is it? You know, I'm a, mine I'm a Minecraft guy. So one of the most satisfying things, you know, a little, little you know, pop when you pick up a resource. I want something like that. It's one little sound effect just to go, you're picking up things. I find that very satisfying. Uh, so, Demon Maker, I actually don't know uh, the answer to that, unfortunately. Um, but, uh... Because I've tried conduits and they they seem to be working. But so what? So what is it specifically? Oh, okay, mate. Thanks. No, no, no worries. I wish. I just wish I had a better, better response. To be honest, what is it actually? What is it? Um. Interesting. Okay. In okay. Yeah. Right. I understand what you're trying to do. So I don't think I've actually tried to do that. I know what you're talking about. So that is one thing I wanted to try. Was So one thing I always aim to do with my carbon generator. Do you get a lot of debris? This game looks like Rocket League. I know nothing about this game. <laughs> yeah, it's Rocket League. It's just like Rocket League. Is this dev team the same as Terratech? Um, no, it's not, actually. Um... No, um, I actually work. I actually work in the same room as people who work on Terra Tech. They're like literally just across the, um, literally just over my desk. If I look over the right there, um, pretty much most people who work on Terra Tech are like on the floor above me. Is it the floor above? It is, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, same company, but not same teams. That you know, they're all doing different things. Um. Ooh. Do you know how to make a second tech? Oh, Stefan, do you know what? You can. You definitely can. Uh, way of doing that. Oh, no. Here we go. Create. So, create new tech. Choose a cab to start a new one. Uh, yeah. Now, wait. Hang on. Because isn't there a snapshot? Yes. Here we go. So, I believe it's done in the snapshot manager. Yes. Okay. Let's say... I'm, I'm winging this, so it's probably not even right. <laughs> um, what, so who, who asked this question? Sorry. This was... Uh, uh, what? Are they still there? Stefan. That's it. There you go. 
<laughs> um, stave. Did that work? Oh, you, you didn't let me... Oh, there you go. Sorry. So, it's doing it by accident. I didn't realize. So, in the snapshot thing, you save that tech as a snapshot. And then, um, you'll be able to rebuild that tech um, from your uh, tech yard. You can't do it anywhere else. You have to come to your tech yard and do it. I don't think I have any of the blocks for these right now. Um, but what you'll be able to do is select it. And then you can click load. And it will take the necessary blocks to make that tech from your tech yard. Um, oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. Okay, so we only have one out at a time now as opposed to a bunch laying around the first game. Yes, only one out in the world uh, currently. Um, yes. So, sorry, Stefan. Yes, all right. I just realized I've just destroyed my tech. Oh, no, I didn't. There you go. Um, is it night time already? Okay. What colour do I want? I kind of like this one. Yeah. Um, just lurking in. My mum bricked her laptop, so I'm reinstalling Windows for her. <laughs> oh, jeez. How did your mum do that? Uh, hey, man. Uh, bit, hi, uh, Fear the Dragon Hand. Good to see you. As soon as I see the word dragon, just think Dragon's Don I've, I've been playing that non-stop. Uh... Yeah, so sorry, what was the question? I uh, was wondering if uh, we are going to have resources respawn in the future and a sort future inventory. So, on the second one, uh, what I can definitely say is that is something that is being discussed. Uh, that is, I absolutely agree. I'm all for it, and uh, we should get it. And if if they say no, I'll, I'll get someone in a headlock. We, we, need, we need a sorting thing. As someone who is, like, very unorganized when it comes to these kinds of games, I think, uh, I think... I would, I would like it, so I agree. Um, but it is, it is in, it is in the works. I know that. Um, what was the, what was the first part of this? Resources respawn. I actually don't have a clue. I do not know. <laughs> um, right. What was I doing? What was I doing? And you make more room. That's it. Nope. Went the wrong thing. Workbench, please. Uh, that. Whoops, nope. Don't need that many. Okay. Huh? Oh. No! I need the carbon generator. Come on, mate. Don't be like that. There you go. Also, look how much slower carbon is now. God bless. Right, could you... What just happened? Why did it sound like something had gone wrong? Oh, it's because it was crafting. <laughs> okay, cool. Sorry. Oh. Oh, dear. I have a lot of stuff. Okay. So, to make a silo, don't we need uh, aluminium and... Okay. Are you one or... Okay. Awesome. Um, give me a sec. I've, uh, I've got a lot of stuff. Go. Uh, you can go. Didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. I love you, and I love you, and I love one of you, just to be safe. I think there's plans for tree to respawn. Antonia mentioned that, but regular resources. I don't believe there are plans for that right now. There you go. Haxi is doing my job better than I am. <laughs> uh, right. Workbench, give me my platforms, please. Go. Nice. Just one more room so I can get my refinery and all my other stuff. There we go. Um, oh, I've got two more, so I can, uh, yeah. There you go. I think we've got plenty of room now. At least I think so. Having these at the front of the base is always a good idea. At least I think so. In practice, that seems to make sense. Are the maps on the world on the world procedure generated? No, they're not actually. Hmm. Right. Conduits. Would you? Would we need refined carbon? So we need a refinery. Okay. Refinery. Copper. Oh, basically, I have absolutely everything I need apart from copper. Difficult. All right. 
Let's go get some copper. Alley -oop. Oh, I would be an absolute mess trying to present a stream and play the game at the same time. I'm not coming for your job, don't worry. <laughs> no, it's all good. Um, I mean, honestly, questions are the main thing. But I would be, I would like to be able to have a, a more uh, persistent save. Oh, there's some cop copper there. Sweet. So that I don't have to keep uh, doing this uh, initial uh, loop over and over again. Uh, your boy's not even, like, launched a rocket yet. You're doing good, mate. Cheers. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, all right. Let's go. Whoa. Yeah, they're still there. I really should get rid of these guys. Come back. I just, I just feel like you're bad news waiting to happen. Okay. Oh, and you're a source. Whoa, what's that? What is that? Strontium? Oh, whoa. All right. <laughs> Str I've never seen strontium before. I don't like saying it. Strontium. I've never seen that before. It's quite cool. So I don't have nearly enough uh, nerdy stuff in my office. Uh, looking at so far, I'm clearly not qualified for the job. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm flattered you think this is an office. It's not. It's just my living room. <laughs> There's my TV. I'm really bad at pointing. I just pointed it. It's my TV. I don't think you can see it, but this is yeah. This is where I uh, this is where I veg out most days. Hang on. Oh yeah, my rewards and stuff. Well, I'll get those in a bit. I got distracted. What was I making? Refinery. I was making a refinery. Mate. Give it all. Huh? Oh, you need more iron. Okay, cool. That's alright. We've got more iron. We have the technology. Nice. Does it have your PC and... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses, mate. I only need one refinery. <laughs> uh, so what do we need? Um... Well, put the refinery down anyway, as it is. And then what we'll do is create a refinery. Okay. <laughs> uh, then we'll create a refinery. We'll refine some carbon. And then we'll create some conduits. And then what we'll do is have a, a silo with debris in it and carbon. But we'll put it in an order in which it takes... You'll see. You'll see. The idea is that we want to be able to refine debris to turn into carbon that goes to the carbon generator. And if on the off chance we run out of uh, debris, it will then just take what carbon's in there and we can just replace it. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I bet it's, I, I'm sure it's something everybody's done at some stage. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Put me refinery now. Come on, Dean. All right. Go! Carbon. Refine it, mate. Had to kill Big Boy from the north. You talking about me? <laughs> I'm from the Midlands, not the north. A lot of people call it the north. Um, yeah, just do as many as possible. What else do we need for um, conduits? It's, uh, refined carbon and what? Copper? Of course it's copper. Alright. That's fine. I uh, don't know how many we need. Just do five to be safe. I think five is a sensible number. We need now terraforming and terra tech worlds. Terraforming is already in the game. It is, yes! It's a, it's a very much a late game thing. And you know what? Your boy has not tried it. He's not had the opportunity yet. Uh, here we go. Ten refined carbon. Maybe a couple of corners, mate. Come on, don't be shy. Just a couple of corners. I just made the mining cannon. Nice. I've not tried it yet. I want to. 
I just made more of that. That was not what I was supposed to do. Great. Uh, that's fine. We can refine more carbon. What do we need now? Copper. Right. Well, all right. Let's see if this system works anyway. It should work. It's worked every time I've done it. But, you know, I surprised myself. All right. Zoom out. I'm going to move the tech yard over here for now. Uh, can I make more platforms? Yes. All right. Cool. Can I place you down there? Yeah. Don't think I can place you here. Which makes sense, because the ground's in the way. <laughs> no. All right. That's okay. We can figure that out. Right. Carbon generator. Here. Binary. What sort do of we need? So right there, brains are uh, brains working. So what we need is silo going in the refinery. Got ya. That could be you, mate. Since you sat there looking pretty, we can. Um, how many corners did we get? We didn't take out the thing, did we? All right. Cool. Um, is that, that's going in. That's what we want. We want it to go in. Uh, no, that's going the wrong direction. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope. Alright, alright. Okay. We just had enough. Just enough. So then... If I fill this up, nope, that was wrong. <laughs> you need to come out. You don't. You don't belong here, unfortunately, mate. Um. Oh wait, no. So it just has to be. Uh, don't do that. There you go. So now it's filling. I think it's thirty debris now instead of sixty like it used to be. I think it's thirty now. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it's on a different build. Yeah, because I was doing this the other day, and it was a lot faster. Um, yeah, maybe it's. Yeah, maybe I'm using a different build. Whoops! All right. How much time we got? Do you, should I? Uh, do you want me to load up the uh, more recent build? I might make a bit more sense because I mean it might run as a. Uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. We are still here. All right, cool. Um, give me a second. Give me a second. Do, 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 do. No, do, 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 do. Genuinely thought I already had uh, the latest build up, but I guess I didn't. All right, let's just do some behind the scenes magic. Yeah. Oh, wait, I've got the wrong thing up. Here's a sec. Newer build. Uh, an internal build, basically. Uh, that's not ready for release just yet. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry, yeah, I thought I had it. I thought I already had it open. But I didn't. But that's okay. It won't take very long. Yep, that's it. Thank you. you can download that. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Yeah, it's fine. It's only 50 megabytes. Magic, right? Absolute magic. Was that the Terratech music uh, for the translation? Yes, yes. Um, I use it just because. Uh, oh, it's five gigs, not five, five megabytes. All right. All right. Well, give me a couple minutes. I love that you're still actively improving the game experience. Oh, cheers, Craig. Yeah, no, obviously, um, you know, we're only uh, in the first week of early access, and we want to make sure that um, that you obviously understand um, that we obviously care about what your experience is like and what you actually think of the game. Um, so, yeah, though, no, uh, what is it? The devs are, like, just really in the thick of it, like, just trying to, like, you know, 
get those initial few hours feeling as good as humanly possible. Um, so yeah, no, I really appreciate it. And obviously, like I say, well, we care. They've been working on it for so long. <laughs> um, but yes. Uh, but cheers. Uh, we're there. All right, we've got, we've got a couple more minutes, but we should be pretty much ready soon. i got to go get a Steam card. I don't have enough money on my account. Oh, a Steam card? Or like a gift card thing? I didn't know those existed. <laughs> Question. Hopefully I have an answer, Craig. Hopefully. Um... Right, a few more minutes. We've got a whole other gig to download. Okay. Come on, babes, hurry up. I assume the music is playing underneath it. It isn't just a, a really quiet room with my, uh, my sorry mug. Hey, there we go. All right, cool. Do I have to set up a different window? What's the deal? Is that the Monster Mango? My dad loves that. It is, yeah. With another gig, are we talking Arctic Monkeys, My Chemical Romance? My Chemical Romance, mate. <laughs> Anytime. Uh, right, gameplay, are we... Might be named something different, so I might need to change it. Oh, wait, no. Come on. Show the game. Okay. Um, should be there shortly. All right. We're just having a little load. It's just being shy. Jeez. All right. There you go. Look how fast that is now. <laughs> look, look how different that is. <laughs> yeah, so now it's going to be able to, like, convert debris and uh, copper. Uh, co uh, sorry, carbon a lot faster now. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. How exciting. That's such a nice change, right? Also, hey, how you doing? Recognize you from the server. Um, but yes, that was a... Yeah, so that's a huge change. And if we build some conduits, we'll be able to put that carbon into... Have I got any corners? I've got one. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so the idea would be... Is that correct? Yes. Can I build one more little corner? I think I need to... Have I got any more? I don't. I need to convert. Um, right. You stop. Stop, stop, stop. Wow. I don't know. Cool. Um, there we go. Alright, cool. Got a stack of 60 already. Um, you mentioned the notification for, pick, for picked up items. Do you, do you mean like currently is in the top right corner showing carbon crap? Yeah, basically, yes, but for when you're out on the field. Um, just so then you know what's in your inventory without going into the menu. Because, yeah, you obviously get that notification when something's been um, crafted or whatever, but you don't get one for... Um, so, yeah, like when this happens, like you say, you get that one of them. Yeah, I think that'd be really helpful. Are there other, any other corporations yet, or is it only the GSO? Currently, it's only the GSO, um, but there are intentions. Um, Chris mentioned that um, every new planet we have, there'll be a new corporation. I don't know how set in stone that is. I'm just saying the words that he said, and he's the design director. So, um, you know, I, I'd like to think he's a pretty reliable source of information on that front. <laughs> uh, right. Is the stream buffering a lot? Hmm. Is it... Um, no one else has said anything. How has how's it been? I mean, according to my OBS, everything's chill. But... Could be wrong. 
Right, what do we need for my little corner? Hopper. That's what we need. Hmm. Neat idea, factions. Yeah, right? Hey, some copper for me. How much? Two. I don't see any issues. Yeah, okay. Sorry, might might be a might be a, a you problem at the moment. Sorry. Um, hello. You. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, boys, 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 boys! Go running off. going away and they're like we're free god being able to mine these resources so much faster is so nice give me give me go yeah so i think yeah you should get a notification for what you've just picked up and how much you've picked up uh there's no visually you could count it but we're not counting it are we New corporations. Uh, so, uh, like I just uh, just said, uh, Chris, our design director, mentioned on the stream on Wednesday that apparently the plan is to, every time there is a new planet or a new world uh, introduced, there will be a new um, faction or corporation to come along with it. At least that's, those were the words that they said. Don't shoot the messenger. I just make rubbish little TikToks. <laughs> uh, all right. Hopper, go in there. Yep, that's it. I'll do. Right. Ooh. Big tech over there. I don't. I don't. Do I have a weapon on me? I don't think I do. Um. Is that right? Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's fix that, and then hopefully that will um start putting the carbon. Start putting the carbon. I want to bring that a little closer. Can I do that? Oh, I can. Sweet. Okay. Um. Okay. And then. Nope. Okay, um, so carbon, that's what we want to make. There we go. There you go. And now our carbon generator is being replenished with, yeah, there you go. So you can just essentially just leave that to do its thing. Because you get debris from practically every resource, so you'll, you'll start having a lot of it. But yeah, that's kind of my setup at the moment. I don't know if that's the most efficient way of doing things. But, yeah, it works. Now, I said I was going to go to the swamp. <laughs> and I, so far, I've done a terrible job of doing that. Okay. So, I, I need another silo, if I'm being honest. Yeah, give me that. Cheers. Um, so what I want to do is just put a bunch of stuff I don't really need right now. That'll do uh, the lithium I don't really need yet. In fact, these, take that. Actually, most standard ones I need are things like this. Take, you know, yeah. Take my main ones. See what I can craft. What can I do? It works fine if it's just one type of ore, but if you have a mix of ores, you're out of luck currently. Right, okay, right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, was it intended for the block stats to be open source in the demo? Unclear, unclear. All right. I managed in a whole hour. I've not speedrun this. I hope it hasn't been too dull. <laughs> Hopefully we can keep this safe. And we can um, keep things running. Have I run? Wow, he's gone through that um, debris very quickly. 
Um, okay, well that is a good thing though. Now, what do I need? Block fabricator? What is that? Refined aluminium and refined copper. Well, we can use this, so that's good. Um, go. I don't How many do we need? Five. Okay, cool. And... Nice. Alright, five. And then, what was it again? Ugh. Aluminium. Alright, cool. This should be an accessibility option to make the menus flat instead of having it to the side from the interface, if you know what I mean. No, I know what you mean. Instead of the angle. Yeah, I know what you mean. I think that's fair. Um, I mean, UI in particular, from my understanding, is something that's going to be constantly sort of tweaked. Um, especially with a, a game that is obviously like, you know, a good portion of it will be spent like sort of navigating menus. It's obviously very important. Anyone got a good source of titanium? There's titanium. Is it in the Arctic? I actually can't remember. Um. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Right. I would like my block fabricator, please and thank you. I hope we got enough room because these things are massive. And we've run out of power. <laughs> okay. Um, well, basically what we need is a carbon generator. I just set this one up. Um, restore. There we go. Let's, uh, oh wait, yeah, we can't, we can't fit that in there. We're just going to take that with us. I say, let's go do something really stupid and go on a, a resource run. Actually, before we go, have I, yes. All right, cool. Cool. Um, mining laser, you're going to go back into there for a second. Because what I would like is to have a uh, double protection on this front. Right, I'm going over here. I think it currently in terms of UI, the most recent thing I saw and working on was taking a look at the weird rendering issues with the heat bubble things and how it renders on Steam Deck. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Um, Steam Deck. Ooh. Can I get across here? I feel like this is gonna be very deep. We'll see. Oh, okay, yeah, not too bad. I was worried this was gonna be really deep and we were gonna like struggle getting um getting out. I realize we've not got a lot of pieces for our tech at all. We've still got a little starter tech. We'll have something cool eventually. Ah! Uh oh! Wait, when did I get rid of my light ammo? Oh, I must have put it in the silo. Jeez. Do you know what? I think. I think ammo, maybe it needs its own place to be. Maybe that's what it needs. Maybe it needs like its own little ammo slot. You know? So then I don't accidentally like... But I don't know. I'm just, I'm just... Hey, pal, get away. Yeah, that's right. I'm nervous some of these people, man. I think they own the place. Giz. You know what, pal? Just because you came over here. <laughs> oh, no. How sad. Cheers. Yeah, an ammo storage place, all the items in the inventory. Yeah, I mean, just something. Maybe it could even be over here. I don't know. But uh, I'm not the game person. I don't make things. But well, I make things, just not games. But I 
I mean, I mean, me forgetting my ammo all the time is mainly just a memory issue. But maybe if it was a little less easy to run off without your ammo. Jeez. Oh. Wow. How embarrassing. Have you got any uh, cool wheels? Yes. All right, cool. These away. Ooh. There we go. Slap that on. Yep, that'll do. Ooh. What about one of these little lights? Do we want one of these? Not really anywhere to put them right now. There's only one of them as well. What am I doing? Learn how to rotate. There we go. <laughs> Why not? Just something for a bit of variety, you know what I mean? I want. We're a little faster. I want whatever that is. But I've got a feeling. Can I. Is that shooting him? Oh, he missed. Whoa! I did not know they shot that many! Wowzers! Okay. Loving the new reactor and efficiency update. Cheers, uh, Firebound. I appreciate it. Are there any plans to uh, add tool mounts um, so they take up less power? I'm not sure. I believe I saw an item like that. I'm not sure. Look, it's not the sniper plant. True. Aye, aye, aye. Whoa. Okay, okay. Please, 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 please. Please just die soon. Oh, wow. I did not know they shot this many. Oh, wow. Thank God. Okay. My beef is not with you. Hey. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. My problem wasn't with you, my friend. Yeesh. I managed to get from my ammo really quickly, though. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, dear. It's fine. Absolutely fine. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, chat. I am so... Tech versus plants. Planet haters. They do. I don't know what, I don't know what, the, I don't know what the deal is with the devs, but they're just like, what if plants just hate your guts? It's why, I'm so, it's why I'm really looking forward to see what creatures they add into the game. Because, uh, you know, it'd be nice to have something else that hates us other than uh, the shrubbery. <laughs> Neat, can't wait to see where the game goes. Been waiting for a long time. Cheers, Firebound. I got a question. When I die in the Arctic, my corpse drops 50 little chests. Is that going to be fixed in the next patch? Yeah, that doesn't sound right at all. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound right at all. I guess the only thing I can think of is, is your, does your tech have more than one um, type of cargo? Because that's what that is one uh, way that happens. Not saying it should, but is that is that what's going on? Because like, if you have more than one piece of cargo, sorry, like a small cargo, medium cargo, uh, chest with zero loot in them. Ah, interesting. Well, that does not sound intentional. So. Presume I would just assume that's probably gonna get sorted. Do you know if you're able to craft multiple tech repairs, storage stations, and if not, are there plans to do so? So you can craft multiple techs via the snapshot option um, over here. Like that is one thing that you are able to do. Um, there used to be an issue caused by dying while having a DOT effect, so it's just freezing. Right, right. Gotcha. In terms of the other half, I'm not entirely sure. The store is not shed. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, uh, chat. 
I'm gonna have to love you and leave you, unfortunately. Um, this is my, uh, oh wait, wait that. Sound doesn't tend to work from place to place. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this has been my hour streaming today. Um, so hopefully, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I would stay, I would stay longer, but it's my day off. Uh, well, it's everybody's day off. It's uh, Bank Holiday Friday. So, but um, thank you so much for joining me. It's been, it's been really fun. Uh, if you uh, would like to join us again, um, we have a stream next when, well, sorry, this Wednesday. Next Wednesday. We have a stream next Wednesday with our design director, Chris. Uh, so if you want, you know, if you want uh, to have some answers from someone who's obviously, you know, in the real nitty gritty of the game development side for Terra Tech Worlds, then that is the uh, perfect time to get some real time um, answers um, from one of the devs. But yeah, we'll be streaming that about, uh, I believe it's 11 a.m. UK time. But yes, that, uh, yeah, that would be, that would be the time to do it. But yes, I hope, thank you for hanging out with us. And once again, thank you so much for all your feedback and the lovely words uh, about Terra Tech Worlds currently. We really, obviously, really, really appreciate it. I know this sounds, when I talk like this, it's just like script stuff, but I do mean it. And I promise next time I say it, it will sound like a human being is saying it and not just someone reading off an imaginary auto cue. <laughs> Work-life balance game, exactly. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much. Uh, be sure to, uh, yeah, stick around and enjoy the game. Bye! See you later, everyone! Uh, where's the buy button on this thing? Oh, it's here. See you in a bit.